Hey guys, it's me Vivi over here and I'm back with another unboxing video. So let's just get straight to unboxing. So this is what I got from the unboxing video. I got a big um, size Echeveria Lola and as you can see the beautiful lavender color under the leaves. I'm not sure if it's obvious on the camera but anyways um, I ordered multi heads and I managed to get four heads but I removed them from the stem so I can make you know like get more babies yeah um, how do I show you guys okay so here's the big one the mother plant the side um, baby and another one that grow out from the stem which have no root okay why is it focused on the back okay but here is it there's no roots yet. Oh no, <laughs> I need a better phone. But anyways, yeah, here's it. This is actually not a root. It's like um the the end. So the phone died. I accidentally press on finish recording. But anyways, this is the um the end of the. You no, know, like I remove it from the stem like over here like over there and then I just pluck it off so it will just have like the brown color oh my god I need a new phone <laughs> well anyways this is the end from this end over here so this one if you're wondering this one is um, a gift from the seller and my prediction about this plant is Echeveria Chihuahua and Sei. Yeah, I believe. So I got another baby, which is this one. I'm probably gonna remove some leaves so it's easier for me to propagate them. So yeah, I also have got some leaves from the plant yeah it's over here but it's under the plant okay here we go look at the purplish lavenderish and on the leaf it's so beautiful okay so I'm gonna pot them up after two days and I will keep you guys updated after that bye okay hey guys it has been about three days I believe or two so I have here the leaves so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate them into two parts like um, the amount and I'm gonna do um, soy propagation with this big one and this small one with the water propagation because I have like zero success on the water propagation so yeah, might as well try it out. See if I am going to be getting a lot of success. So yeah, let's just pop them in. Cause this one I have already used it before for water propagation. That's why there is holes on it. And I might just reuse it. So I don't have to get a new new one. Okay, this one I fold in. I find a small hole. Okay, there we go. Okay, so about the leaves, I might just put them onto this onto the soil. 
but there's literally so many leaves. I couldn't put them there because this one, um, this one is a black prince. It has only leaves and no roots, so I decided to keep it there. And here, yeah, I'm gonna just put it over there. Um, I'm trying to make some space for the leaves. So yeah, I'm gonna just move my leaves around. Okay, I need one more space. So, um, this is what I have so far. This is all the Lola's leaves. And this one is a Graptopotalum Super Bomb or Super Bomb, whatever you call it. This one is a Kevera Remo. So something happened and my Echeveria Rainbow both died and left me with leaves but most of them turned black and died. So this clock fall down and smash on my plants, especially my rainbows. So they both died. And look at this super bomb. It has been about a um, couple months since I started propagating them but they are still in the fine condition so that's good um, let's see that's Graptopotalum rainbow I mean purple delight um, this whole row and yeah okay so this is what I got the Lola's I'm gonna just keep them here without being in soy for about a week because I just pull those baby offset off them and I just want to make sure that it's like totally colors over so I can pot it up without um, making the um, making the stem or the root rot because I just wore my plants a couple days ago like maybe two days ago so yeah so about this one um, let me bring it up okay so I don't know if you guys can tell but this one is actually really wrink wrinkle on its leaf okay why is it not focusing <laughs> anyways um, can you focus on the pond please okay why is it not showing but I'm not sure so I have done my research about this plant. It is actually a Caveria texasis, texansis, I mean texasin rosier. And you can tell by the bottom leaf it's really wrinkled. So I'm doing a water therapy. Yeah. And this is about a day one of it being in water. So yeah. I will keep you guys update on the condition. It's really wrinkled. Okay, like this. Okay. See you guys in a bit. It has been about 1 month and 14 days after I um, put the plants into the soil. So here is the result. So this is the biggest hit. As you can see, this is the biggest one. Because it is at the, on the bigger spot. And following with this second biggest one. And I put it in the pot. Because I put it indoor. Over there. And the following biggest one is this one. As you can see it's um, sort of open up. And I put it over there in full sun. And this is this one, the smaller one, more smallest one. And it's doing good. So for the free gift over here, as you can compare compare to back in one month and 14 weeks ago, and 14 days, sorry. It's like um, close up and 
you can tell it's like open up right now and it's beautiful so yeah for the propagation all the propagation didn't make it because I don't know why and this is the recent one as you can tell in the propagation video and this one died apparently so yeah thanks for watching